Picture this. A massive sea turtle drags herself onto the beach, exhausted, just to dig a hole and lay eggs. Why go through all that trouble when she could just drop them in the ocean? The answer is wilder than you think. Hi, it's me, and this is Life Noggin. First things first. Sea turtle eggs are like tiny life support pods. They need oxygen to grow. But underwater, they'd suffocate. Sand, on the other hand, acts like a natural incubator, letting air flow while keeping the eggs safe from waves and saltwater poisoning. But wait, there's more. Laying eggs in the ocean means easy access for predators like sharks and fish who would gobble them up instantly. But buried in sand, only a few crafty crabs or birds might find them. It's nature's version of a secret hideout. What's more, the sand's warmth decides the baby's sexes. Warmer nests produce mostly females, while cooler nests produce males. The ocean's steady temperatures would mess up this delicate balance, risking future generations of sea turtles. Now, laying eggs on land is risky business. Turtles move slow, they can get stuck in trash or even get hunted. But after millions of years of evolution, they decided, no land, no babies. It's a sacrifice they have to make to survive. And let's not forget about the hatchlings. When those eggs hatch, the babies have to make a mad dash to the sea. Most will be too slow and end up as bird poop or crab snacks. Only one in 1,000 survives. But it all starts with that critical beach nest. So next time you see a beach, remember, it's not just sand. It's a sea turtle nursery. Want to help them? Keep beaches clean and lights off at night. Hatchlings follow the moonlight, not the neon lights of a nearby city. Like and share to spread the turtle love. And as always, thank you for watching. See ya.